Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Woo, it is Saturday. Is it? We made it. It is. We, we made, made it. it. We, we made, made it. You did it. <laughs> we hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, before we get started, uh, we got to pay the bills. So we're going to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors. And that sponsor today is Popple. Which is the alternative for uh, business cards. Pop. You got to like pop when you do it. Pop. Yeah. So 96% <laughs> of business cards get tossed out, guys. If you hand out a business card, people are going to pick their teeth with it. Popple allows you to update everything within the app. And it's then, actually really cool. I have to admit, of all the different things that you have done, like digitally wise, this is actually the coolest. Yeah, because you can update your links. Uh, if something changes, your title changes, you get a promotion, your address changes. You'd have to pay Vistaprint or one of these other companies to print new cards. With Popple, you can do it right from the app. And what's really cool is that you get to send the card directly to your customer's phone. It goes right to their phone. They click another button and you're added into their contacts. No more these guys tossing their uh, your cards away. And if you use our promo code Heroes AK, that's Heroes AK, you get 20% off, guys. 20% off. And just by clicking the link in the description below, you get an additional 25 cents off today. Uh, excuse me, 25% off. 25% off. So that yeah. is our. That is our pitch. That's how we're paying the bills today. And it's it's not a dating app unless you're giving out business cards to date, which you can do. You can do. You can and I mean, do. that's just efficiencing. And I just made that word up uh, the whole system. So I feel like that's that's a win. Yeah, that's a win. Yeah, it, 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 it's yeah, it's a win. 100 percent win. Yeah. I was like, oh, I see, the problem is, is that it makes a noise when a new comic pops up. So I'll be in the middle of a thought and I'll be like, ooh, read the comic. <laughs> and so because well, that I, way we don't miss these comics. So. Well, and I'm also a squirrel. So there's that. <laughs> so uh, tonight uh, we're going to do a, a quick review on Andor, what we thought about it, mm -hmm. unboxing, uh, some follow up on Comic Con, our comments on the new Deadpool 3. <gasps> I'm here for it. Some Kryptonite and... Uh, and some other and more. some other some other stuff we're gonna sprinkle at the end. Yeah. So some other stuff. All right. So first things first, let's talk about this Andor. So we got the trailer here, and I gotta lower the volume on the trailer as we go over it. So we watched Andor, and people have seen this trailer already, so we can just talk over it, hun. But I mean, I, what did you think about the show? I don't hear anything. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then it's just my headset, which is fine. I honestly don't need a headset, but. Oh. oh, there it is. I hear it now. My bad. Yeah. That, 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 that's my fault. Okay, let, me, let me lower it here. So you got to watch Andor with, yes. it, uh, with me. And what'd you think? Uh, I love the fact that it's giving his backstory because I thought I really liked Rogue One. And I know some people didn't like it, but I loved it. And I loved how they did the story. And so to give this really cool backstory to him and to really see like this tragic beginning... To his life and it yeah. may and like we watched that last episode last night and it was you know they really explained about like why those kids were on that planet because the whole time i was like well something had to happen on this planet and so we're like putting it all together i think it's really cool and i think they're doing a great job i do and i like the actor i think he's cool as shit yeah uh not sure what you guys think but man i'm gonna tell you right now that uh uh i would say rogue one is one of the few modern uh uh star wars movies yeah that they have done right totally did they did darth vader right in that that hallway scene with darth vader was only rivaled <gasps> by the mandalorian season huh, finale gives with, me goosies. With, with luke skywalker in the yeah hallway, right but this this show gives me kind of that um that uh not born identity, but kind of that spy feel too. Right. But like and I'm wearing space. the appropriate shirt for us to be talking about this too. I was like, I just realized that. Um, no, I, I really think that they are putting not only an interesting story to de together, but I love that it, it has not only like the comedy and the drama and, and all of that other stuff in it. It is, it is a well put together and the episodes have been well put together in my opinion. I just, I think it's very good and I'm excited for the rest of it. I'm here for it. 
Yeah, I, I would agree 100%, man. It was... I agree. I agree, Sith, that the first couple episodes, I was kind of like, okay, uh, what's going on? But this last episode was lit. It was so good. Yeah, I would uh, uh, I would 100% recommend this show. If you're a Star Wars fan, I think you got to give it a ch- you got to give it a chance. Yeah, man. like they all of these, you got to watch I them. I feel I feel like there's uh, there's no hidden agendas this time. It is just a straight you even made a couple Star comments. Story. You made a couple of comments when we were watching it. You were joking about some of the things that they're not trying to shove. Yeah, yeah. At everyone was, and yeah, there was no crazy there, flag waving. This yeah, time. it was. It was just let me just. Up, we're gonna make it. Story. Better. And, you know, it wasn't any of that. It's just been a great story and i think that is where a lot of these shows have a problem is they try so hard to interject all these little things that don't have anything to do with the story so it takes away from the story this one they're just focusing on the story and i think that's why it is so good yeah the locations i like that they're doing coruscant and you're seeing the stuff that happened politically that yeah uh, you know you you didn't think about or they just didn't have time to focus on in the uh, actual movie so i'm liking this a lot also and I just thought about that. This right now. Oh, here's uh, my auto proof. Oh, auto proof. Uh, I made him auto proof his cup before he came in here. Just so you know, I was like, you better put a cap on that. We don't need to have an auto. Uh, <laughs> we love you though. Bro. We do love you, hundred <laughs> percent. But the laptop's right here. The stream deck's right there. Like I ain't trying to do that. But I didn't even think about many Apple laptops died to bring this message. To, to bring us. this message to everyone. <laughs> what I uh, didn't even think about was how they were like, we're going to steal a whole entire quarter of the Empire's payroll. And now, oh. I, now here's where my brain immediately went. I didn't think they paid stormtroopers. But then I was like, maybe it's just that everyone has to pay the Empire. Yeah, well, but like at the same time, I feel like the stormtroopers aren't paid. Like I just I feel really like, don't think that they're doing it for free. They, it's just not something that they addressed, right? Well, they well, have to. You pay. never see them. I mean, you see credits and all that other stuff. I mean, I guess they would have to pay the stormtrooper. But it's one of those like I didn't really think about. It. I was like, hmm, I feel like the well, stormtroopers. Hmm. They're not. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not something that they talk about. But I don't think that they're doing it for free. And then on top of that, they need the money to pay off all these other. <laughs> things that they're doing yeah, the Death Star plans are on Hunter Biden's laptop <laughs> oh my gosh that's funny uh. all right so uh so yeah so anyway Andor's if you only- haven't if you haven't watched Andor, if you haven't given it a shot just know the first couple episodes are a little bit slow but it picks up pretty quickly yeah. And I think that it was good in those first couple episodes that they kind of like laid the foundation and they had to. So, you know, there's not going to be a lot of action when you're laying down the whole sad story of why this kid's angry. Right. So, so with that being said, now we move on to our next segment, which is the unboxing, which we think you guys are going to love. Uh, this is in preparation for Comic-Con. The first thing I want you guys to see, though, before uh, as Amy's getting ready, is... Uh, Ralph, big shout out to you. I have become Our an homie. X23 uh, connoisseur. Do you want me to hold it in front oh, of yeah. that one? Oh, yeah. Let me uh, turn on the let Amy camera. Vanna White. Ooh, that's there very you go. cool. And let me... Uh... So that X23 cover right there, absolute fire. <laughs> I thought these and... I thought these were actual, like, the reflection, and I realized it's part of the cover. <laughs> yeah, part of the cover there. So these, man... Oh, I I just want arms that look like her. I want it to be able. I don't want to do the work. I want it to be able to focus on the character that I can afford and that I can get a full collection on and can be invested in. Right. And X-23 has become that character. Yes. Very close up of me. But let's go. Okay. So shout out to my buddy Rob from Best Comics who hooked a sister up knowing we had our... uh, con coming up so he sent us some of his exclusives that he has done as well as like some other really cool books um and this is his marilyn monroe cover homage on the naughty and nice books um and he sent me several are the hardly hardly thin um that was the da 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 and i'm thinking these will either be individual sales or uh this one might yeah well, maybe the um, oh, I don't know if I should show the other one because it's it's got a nipple. Ah, eh, you're fine. It's if you have children watching, just know there's there's a nipple getting yeah. ready to happen. There's a nipple, but it's that cool 
Chrome? Is that Chrome? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, foil. 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 Chrome? Acetate. Ac- yes, definitely not. Without the drama. Yeah. These are the ones that I was really excited about. He, um, this was not his exclusive. This was one that was done, but I just was Is really excited. Marat? Yeah. Should, the oh, Poudador. The San Diego. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah, thought that turned out really, really San good. Diego Comic-Con uh, exclusives here. And so we got the Trade in the Virgin of these. That's number three of 30. This one is number three of 30. I was like, and right. then he also, same thing, and, and well, the, uh, two, the, two the, of 30. The Virgin. The, the, the virgin. Trade in Virgin. Same, the other trade, two should have been. Not trade, trade in. but uh, uh, the, oh, the, yeah, these are beautiful. Did you show them? Yeah, the, yeah. it's the same one. It's just the, it's just number two. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then this is his book that he's been putting together. And uh, um, for those that don't know, he's in Rhode Island. And he also um, is a cultivator of uh, marijuana for medical marijuana purposes. So that's one of the businesses that he has. And he made this killer Care Bears cover, which I just think is absolutely fantastic and hilarious. And, and that's, uh, it's trade dresses. The trade dress, trade yes. Dress. And, yeah. and, it, and the one... Yeah. Bear is saying to the other, care for a puff, which I just, <laughs> for all of those of us that grew up in the 70s and the 80s and 90s, remember it is puff, puff, pass. That's just yeah. proper etiquette. And this is Marat as well? Yes. And these are, uh, that one was limited to, they're limited to 10 covers. Yes. And then so this. Of those were 10 of 10. This Ooh, was wee. the Boston. Comic Con. Ooh, Yeah. And it, oh, it says the Boston Fan Expo. Is that the same? Yeah, is yeah. that the same? I'm just making sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then we've got the other one in the black and white with a little bit of red. I think these turned out fantastic. And especially with the Deadpool uh, news that came out this week, I think yeah. it was pretty awesome. These ones. I yeah, absolutely- it's going to be 75 bucks for the set there. But yeah. Yeah. Um, Can you show them again side by side? Oh. Yeah. I I always do it the wrong way. There you go. Not always. This is a children's show. (laughs) Um, I don't believe that Marat was the artist. I want to say the guy's name is Gorkum something or other. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure these are Gorkum. All right, you guys are going to love these. Check that out. Killer Care Bears. So there's that one. Yeah, terrific con. So uh, this was over there in your neck of the woods, yeah. uh, uh, Otto. Three men in the so basement. Those... So you guys probably saw these in person. Yes, and yeah, this is yeah. They're they're both Gorkums. And these are limited. These are limited to forty. Um, to forty copies. And this is limited to thirty. This and one's limited to thirty. The Tigumverse, which I think turned out just absolutely wonderful. It's just absolutely beautiful cover. And then the Virgin. Of that one. Do, 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 do. Ooh, wow. Yeah, those and then cool. last but not least, this is probably one of my favorite one that he's done of his Killer Care Bears. I just absolutely, absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. I just, I think it is so cool how he's put these together. And I, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, let me do it right. The little... Care Bear in the corner. Oh, come on. There it is. Yeah, you can see it. The oh, little Care Bear in the corner little, there. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then, and the, then virgin. The, the, the virgin of that one, which I just I just think this is such a cool cover. And thank you to Rob from Best Comics for hooking a sister up, sending all of this for Comic-Con, and always being a big supporter of our shop and what we do here and how... You know, YouTube is YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, like all of these things. It, it always um, humbles me quite a bit, the relationships that you make with people. Um, you know, like Three Men in a Basement is a great example that these yep. people have become my family. And I'm so thankful that I've got to meet them in person and that you guys are truly my family. And I've got to meet your families. And and I absolutely adore you people. And there are other people who I consider just absolutely wonderful friends from so many different channels. You know, like if I'm ever in California, like I'm I'm hitting Sith up. Like I'm gonna be like, yo, dude, let's go get a beer. Like 110%, that's gonna happen. Yep. And if they ever came to Alaska and didn't tell me, uh, I would find you. And it would not be pretty. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yet, yeah, like, I know that with all of these people that we have met with these different outlets, like, we for sure 
have like all of these friendships and these wonderful people in our life that support our little shop from around the world. A guy from Rhode Island sent me a box full of books for our con. Like how cool is that? I just, I just think it's really awesome. For any of the other channels that want to send us anything for our raffles, um, we are, I'm not going to say no, you want to mail us some stuff to put in the raffle. Uh, you guys have got three weeks until the con. Uh, we would super love that. The raffle is not only going to benefit um, us, it is going to benefit Alaska Healing Hearts, which is a part of an extension of the Wounded Warriors, and they do things with veterans and veterans' families. They take um, them out. Uh, and this beautiful, they take them out to a beautiful whole entire island. resort, essentially, on an island yeah. out at Lake Louise. It is this beautiful thing that they do, and we're going to be able to give a pro uh, part of the proceeds to that. So if anyone would like to donate to that hit us up for our, our mailing address i'll send it to you uh so yeah well, we have uh uh what we've been excited about too the announcement the official announcement can we just talk about how that's the day before my birthday so obviously it's meant to be <laughs> sadly we will be out of country when this was released but the second we get back into country we're gonna go watch it oh hell yeah because that's where we're doing the cruise for my birthday oh nice yeah very nice so um yeah i uh love that cover and i really i sent that picture and i said i really want you and kevin to recreate that so much with kevin holding the deadpool head like i just i need that in my life i need you guys to recreate that i also think it would be really funny if you guys did like a, a recreation of like the, where they were talking about it and just the music interjects like you and kevin do that and then the, everyone's like what the fuck did they just talk about yeah that was an awesome announcement on their part but uh obviously there's some sentimental stuff uh, as you can see behind us there's the poster well you and, see the the their feet yeah. which you know we'll be putting those feet pictures on only fans if anyone would like um you know that hey another virgo lon i knew you were a homie another virgo what's up <laughs> so i don't know about you guys we're super excited about that we're but i have to wait gonna, a whole year <laughs> well we're definitely gonna do uh some type of watch party i think what we're gonna do is uh we'll get with the theater and just figure yeah, something when we out get, when we get back we will uh uh we'll do something with the theater where uh maybe uh, uh we have where everybody can join us to watch it mm -hmm. yeah we just all watch it as a team as a team as a team you know um the fact that you said ug feet so yesterday i had to go to our local pharmacy and i had to get two different vaccines because i am headed to peru in a little over a week um and i had to uh i had made a joke as i'm waiting for this lady to shoot me with um yellow fever and typhoid uh super fun uh i'd made a joke about something with feet or something or only fans or i don't remember how it was and she was telling me how one of the ladies in her office legitimately that's her side hustle and people pay her for pictures of her feet the first one the guy was like yeah here's 20 dollars. take a video of you rubbing chocolate on your feet and send it to me and he gave her 20 dollars for it and i just feel like I, that's a market that i don't understand i mean you do you boo blah, blah, blah. um so the peru trip um one of my girlfriends turned 45 and we are uh checking the box on one of her bucket list items which is hiking to machu picchu it is a four day three night hike um so there's that which is why you guys if you follow me on social media have been seeing my gym videos because i have been trying to get ready for this because the elevation is redonkulous and um yeah so we'll see you know hopefully nobody needs to go you know bail me out of a peruvian jail uh, i'm really hoping that's not but it is a all girls trip no husbands are what did we say no eggplant or crotch fruit allowed so no husbands <laughs> no children um and it is just a group of seven of us ladies going um we rented this gorgeous home in Cusco, uh, which if anyone's watched Emperor's New Groove, um, I just can't stop saying all the one-liners from Emperor's New Groove knowing that I'm going to Cusco. Uh, so I will be gone uh, for the next couple of weeks from the podcast, not up at work, out of country, so I will be unavailable. Uh, I actually, I'm actually missing our Comic-Con. Uh, in my defense, this trip was planned way before we planned the Comic-Con 
con and it just this was the weekend that worked for everyone else but me I tried to change my ticket to come back home but it was literally four thousand dollars to change my ticket and I love you all but not four thousand dollars I wanted to go to Lake Titicaca just so I could say that I went to Lake Titicaca but it's too far away um it's like a nine hour drive so to be able to say Titicaca to say Titicaca also when I was a dispatcher um I where where is it um there is a village in Alaska and its name is to Titlick. <laughs> and I, not when I was dispatching for troopers before that, when I dispatched the medical helicopters, segue real quick, quick story, but it's worth it. Um, I got a call and I, it was, I just got released from training. So I thought it was a prank. So I called my chief flight nurse and I was like, would you believe someone's trying to prank me? They're trying to have me send the helicopter to, you know, to Titlick. She's like, no, that's a real place. I was like, oh, oops. <laughs> And so sent everyone. So I called my mother and uh, I was like, mom, did you know? Because I just, I had never heard of it and I did not know. And I know now. And my mother, she goes, well, daughter, I guess there's just one question. To Tititlik or not to Tititlik? Emotional damage. <laughs> if anyone wonders where my sense of humor comes from, <laughs> between my, my father who has passed and my mother, 100% the fact that she said that. Um, so yes, I wanted to go to Lake Titicaca just so I could say that. But it is like a nine hour bus ride and I don't have time for that. <sighs> but let's talk about the con. <laughs> so Comic Con, uh, uh, once sorry. again, uh, we are, uh, it's going to be October 22nd, 23rd at Everest Matsu Resort. The same location. We are officially sold out of vendor space. Vendor spaces are 100% sold out. We legitimately had like one in reserve just in case and even that one got filled. Um, now, we still have tickets, though. Tickets yes. are still available. Tickets to come participate and come hang out are totally available. Uh, at AgesComicsAlaska.com. That's AgesComicsAlaska.com. The link is in there, and it'll be in all the bio stuff. I'm sure it is because you do all that fancy schmancy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Everett's Resort. Um, obviously, it's a cool place because it's called Everett Auto. I mean, hello. Um, they're so wonderful for hosting us uh, for a second year. Um, they, uh, the manager, Amber, is absolutely one of the most wonderful human beings on the planet. They are all in for this event. The things that she is doing to make this weekend be so seamless, not just for us, but for the guests. Is incredible. They're adjusting the menu, so the menu. They have extra be, staff. Yeah. The menu will not be this high priced because uh, it is resort. a fine dining. It's a fine it is. Dining it's a fine resort. dining restaurant. They're, uh, they're going to have a Comic Con specific menu. Yes. So you guys will be able to get much, you know, less. You, don't get me wrong. If you want to go, let me tell you right now, the steak tips, amazing. Get them. They're the Gouda fries. Always get Gouda. Um, but if you want just regular, they're going to have a regular menu, just a specific Comic-Con menu. They're going to have several different um, bartender staff. Cheeseburger fries for just 13 bucks. Yeah, I mean, like a, totally a chicken strip it. basket. You know, like just the, the stuff that you expect to be able to have yeah. at a con. Um, so all, uh, their regular menu will be available, but you have to like go sit in like the dining room for it. Um, and there isn't a view like that place. You're no, and you guys watched lake. us do, yeah. do the lives and everything from it last year. This truly is one of the most beautiful restaurants in the Matsu Valley, Valley with their their views and not only that just the staffing and and the building itself they they the guy that bought it put a lot of money also if he still has a lot of money hey I'm available to be like your pseudo niece <laughs> what's up so they, uh, the gaming portion so we're gonna yes. have a spot for just gaming it's going to be uh, tabletop gaming hosted by MJ's cards and games and then Pokemon and uh, um, uh, and, and the other one. And I believe Smash Brothers Sma yes. hosted, hosted by uh, uh, Game Theory. It's going to be in the, there, there's a section, a historical portion of the resort that is a wine tasting room right yes. now that they're using for the gaming. So that is going to just be super cool. You basically go into this secret stairwell that takes you into... Uh, it's not really a secret stairwell, but I mean, it's a yeah. nice stairwell that kind of like goes down to this area and it has all the original beams and wood from when this was built back in the, I believe it was the 80s. Yeah, if not older. I, I want to say 80s. 
70s, 80s, 70s, 80s ish. Um, also, uh, just because I heard you say it, um, I do find the name Smash Brothers hilarious. I don't know what it is, but I feel like the person who ever did that did a little bit of a joke with it, and I think it's fantastic. Um, so good on you. Um, I am completely sober. Can you believe it? <clears throat> Who'd have thought? Um, so we're going to have the gaming section over there, which leaves the other side where everything was last year is going to be nothing but your vendors and your artists. We, uh, have, uh, we have got plenty of comic book vendors this year, but we also have G.A. John Malo. And uh, uh, we also have... Uh, one guy that's going to be selling vintage G.I. Joe and other figures. That's right. That guy's we stuff have, looks so cool. We have uh, one person, uh, one vendor that makes jewelry, jewelry out of the Dungeons and Dragons dice. Oh, gonna really cool. that's going to so, be, I have a feeling that's going to be a popular, a popular booth. I, I think the only one that is probably going to smoke everybody will be uh, Jackie's Unique Boutique with the anime oh. clothing. She just launched uh, a uh, beanie line. So she has a bunch of beanies now that are like all themed after like, uh, 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 I, I think, um, well, all the most popular animes. I think she has One Punch. She has uh, Hero Ooh, Academia. Yeah, so there's going to be a bunch, a Death Note. <gasps> Uncle yeah, be... Frank! What's up, man? Uncle Frank was the first person to send us something for our raffle, and I appreciate you, my friend, very much. Thank you. I don't know if you saw the video of us doing that unboxing. Um, you are wonderful, and you are a gem of a human, and thank you. Um, yeah, no, it is Jackie's stuff. So just to go back to Jackie real quick, because she truly is, you're not going to find a nicer human selling cool stuff like mm -hmm. she is absolutely a wonderful person her family is involved with her business and she really listens to her customers as to what they're looking for and what they want and then she goes and procures that and gets it and her stuff is not like you guys know when like you buy something you get it you're like oh well this is gonna last two washes or whatever that's not her stuff her stuff is awesome and it is good quality clothing so just to throw that out there in case anyone like the stuff that i think of that people might want to care about i don't know but i do and uh moving to another segment real quick uh oh my kryptonite this week oh i haven't even seen it you guys oh heaven help me <sighs> this is uh uh i saw this it was it Man versus uh, all your favorite heroes. So let's oh, see. Oh no. Yongchun, Ye Wen. Tebo would love this. Turn up, turn up. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> 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 so dumb. <laughs> no. This could be a tragic day for the people of New York. Nah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah,我是。他太可怕了,伙计。我作为妇联的最强战力。我要送他去见上帝。<笑><笑> Language <laughs> No. <laughs> this is it, man. 
一起上吧，打起来了！走，快走！快点儿！连消弹，一攻一打。Not Black Panther。武器最短的时间。I don't hit women。坚持住，火箭。I've heard that the editing on this did a great job. Oh yes. 够快啊！哈哈哈哈哈！They don't want none of that smoke. <laughs> oh my gosh! 天哪，我们没来得及支援他们，我们得摇人了。啊啊 ！Oh no! 永春，叶问，我先带个宝石。都是年轻人，有时候互相切磋，少不了会有一点点损伤。我没想你会说。拳法哪里学的？皮皮虾，皮这一下很开。哦、oh. ， emotional damage。啊，耶。I just really want to know what he was saying through the whole thing.、Uh, it was like when I watched that video earlier, and I was like, "Translate this for me." Uh, uh, yeah. Whoever did the editing on that, you are a genius. Yes. That full credit、uh, to them. Yeah, hundred percent full credit to I them. I saw it on Facebook. It made its way on YouTube, and here it is. Here, part of the kryptonite.、Uh, uh, the internet is undefeated. Honestly, I'm scared to ask how you find some of these things. Like, I don't, I don't think I want to know. On the toilet. I knew that was the answer. On the toilet. I knew that was the answer. In the office. I wish you guys could know、On、how many times I hear giggling and then my phone goes off. Bling, bling. You gotta watch that, babe. Ah,、uh, <laughs> heaven help me, heaven help me. Oh my god. So, you know, Comic Con is gonna be great. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you know of anyone、um, that you know has any want, if you guys just want to come up to Alaska in October, like be a badass time. Oh yeah, totally the dark web, hundred percent. Oh yeah. Um, it's it's good stuff.、Uh, what else? What else? You're looking for buttons. Well, we've got the、uh, reminder that we have the、oh, Heroes、yep. Without Capes podcast. We'll actually be recording this、uh, later today for release、yeah. tomorrow. Yep, because you've got stuff tomorrow, so we'll、yep. do it today. But it won't come out till tomorrow.、Yep. I don't know if you guys have been following that particular、uh, little journey. For those of us that are close to us, you know, kind of, you know, what's been going on.、Um, and you know, one door closed, and we opened up another one, and then I opened up a window, and then I, you know. I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> so there's that. And then, of course, uh, uh, in support of the our real estate venture,、uh, yes. For those of you that don't know, I'm also in real estate, and that's how we're keeping this shop really afloat and being able to、yeah. host these events and everything else. Things are tough. Well, uh, um, it's it's worthwhile though. It's a worthwhile it's a worthwhile investment. Uh, we're currently hiring for the J Bear shop, so if,、uh, for our local Alaskans,、uh, especially、yes. those veterans or dependents、uh, living on J Bear, we are looking for someone right if now. If you、so. know of someone that is looking for, you know, it. I mean, we can full time and part time.、So、full time and part time, and we can work with you know hours and stuff like that. So.、Um, You know, obviously, you need to have a knowledge about comics、um, and gaming.、Um, you don't have to know a lot. You just, you know, gotta at least be interested in it, and then you're willing to learn.、Um, it's a fun environment.、Um, I'd like to say we're not shitty bosses. You know, we're we're、yeah. pretty good bosses. We try to have a lot of fun. That stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, at J Bear, what happens is、uh, since we hire、uh, military dependents,、uh, once they transfer, we lose、yeah. them. So we're we're, we're trying to. Uh, uh, ca play catch up on that, and then、uh, yeah. So、uh, the other thing, of course, if you want to support us, please、uh, go to our website,、uh, 
check out all the cool books that we have on there. Cool items, our swag. That's our swag, yep. Yeah, we've uh, got swag. Uh, yeah. We've got books. Um, there's there's some really cool stuff on there um, to include uh, our Patreon. Right. And, um, you know, all of you that are in here are subscribed to our show. But if you know someone else that wants to f- have people that do random little quips here and there and whatnot, you know, check us out. We're, you know, we're not the worst. So <laughs> that's like our new slogan. We're not the worst. We're not the worst. That's the slogan. So there's that. Uh, the, we're going to uh, have to do a whole series on that. Yeah. The, the, the other thing is uh, we, we are going to uh, venture in out or out into the uh, combining comic books and real estate, uh, which is kind of what we've been doing already, but we're going to make it official with comic comics and cribs. That'll be another podcast and videos that we do. Uh, it'll be a we already have a superhero. Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're- yeah, we already have a superhero lined up. Like he's, you know, he signed on. So you know, there's that. Uh, he doesn't really have a choice. He doesn't pay the rent, so he's got to go. <laughs> Um, for anyone that thinks I have like some weird child labor, that's not what it is. It's someone with four legs. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we have, uh, 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 oh, and that speaking, into- speaking of four legs, uh, to not bring the mood down. Um, I did really want to say thank you to everyone who reached out to us this week. As you guys all know, uh, we sadly lost our girl Zora. Um, she was doing very well. And um, had the summer of her life. And sadly, her condition took a very tragic and severe turn. And it was just not fair to her. So everyone that sent out thank you, or not thank yous, but sent out condolences and checked in on us and, you know, got to, you know, reach out and just say something. I suck at this, but thank you. It meant a lot it really meant a lot because that just sucked and i just really appreciate that everyone cared about us and cared about our girl and you know we'd had her and she was our little mascot in the beginning and so i just i appreciate everyone sending out all of their love and everything that was pretty that was pretty awesome thank you guys uh and just for education purposes uh the the condition is called ivdd which is a uh, spinal- interverbal disc disorder and it encompasses several different things that um, happen with dogs and their spines. Um, also, I, uh, I'm going to tell everyone this now. Get pet insurance. If you have a pet, get pet insurance. Um, they obviously don't cover pre-existing stuff, but get pet insurance. It, they, it, not only did our pet insurance pay for everything, when I had to email them to drop her from our coverage, they sent me the nicest letter and oh, condolences. condolences. Yeah. Um, I I just was very impressed with that. And I cannot, um, I cannot sing the praises enough of how we were able to give her the care that we gave her because we had pet insurance. So yeah. if you can do it, trust me, it's worth it. I know that every month kind of sucks, but trust me when you have a $6,000 vet bill, and they're looking at you, you know, and your pet insurance is like, yeah, we got you. Makes it a lot easier to do that. 100%. Guys. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. I was just going to say uh, thank you guys for supporting the shop. Yes. And uh, we are uh, open seven days a week on J-Bear. We are open six days a week in Wasilla. Five. Uh, excuse five? You're not open on Monday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Damn it. Five days a week. We're working on opening uh, on Mondays eventually uh, in Wasilla. We'll see how that works. Uh, right now, there just hasn't been, there hasn't there's, been enough foot traffic. There's not enough to, foot traffic to, 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 uh, to have Monday. Uh, yeah, to, to really justify. If y'all want us to be open on Monday, I'm going to need a bunch of you to show up and buy stuff. <laughs> that's yeah. just the way it comes down to. Pretty much. <laughs> so that's just the long and short of it. Yeah. So that's, that's just that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I mean, Everyone deserves a couple of days off, and Kevin rocks it at our Wasilla shop Tuesday through Saturday. Along Kevin, we appreciate you, JC, on Saturday. Um, I I know we tell them a lot, but I know I need to publicly tell people you are only as successful as your your staff, and we have been insanely blessed to have hands down the best four employees that you can have. Oh, yeah. um, Olivia. And Angela, Kevin, and JC all give us 
110% every single day that they're there and um, deal with us being their bosses. And they they give us a lot of grace. And as we are navigating being business owners and all the things that come with that, and they are always willing to help. They are always willing to adjust. They are always willing to, you know, oh, we need to change the schedule for this. We need to do this. You know, they are awesome. And if you guys ever have the opportunity or if you have employees that are that great, tell them because they are amazing. And we would not be doing this right here, right now, if it was not for them. So 100%, we would not be doing what we're doing without them. I love That's you it. guys. I mean it. That's it. So guys, thank you. We know you have your choice in crazy shows on Saturdays. Uh, we will continue to be here every Saturday, God willing, uh, with new content every yes. week. And uh, I will see you guys all in three weeks. Don't yeah. forget, up next is Spine Ticks. You have just enough time to go refresh your drink. Use the potty if you need to potty. And uh, hang out with Sith and the gang um and whatever craziness he has planned lord knows there's craziness this is why we're friends um thank you everyone for just always being a part of us and this just appreciate you all right guys you take care we'll see you next time and uh good night john mallow make good choices